So guys, I ain't got a video tonight. I was trying to do some video and it just ain't coming out the way I want them to. So I'm doing this quick little video. I got some new tool purchases. I've kind of bought throughout the week here. Um, one is a new Milwaukee four and a half inch angle grinder, which I will be showing you right now. I got a new angle grinder, Milwaukee. It's smaller, four and a half inch still. Comes with a tool to uh, change your head on there. Put you a cutting wheel or grinding wheel or sanding, just whatever you want to put on there. So I was kind of, kind of glad it's four and a half inch because we still got a whole bunch of four and a half inch discs and stuff we could use instead of having to go buy all new stuff. But if I do decide to go buy some new wheels and stuff, I'll be able to put it right there underneath the grinder on the welder. Basically, have all my storage right there on the welder. So that whole cart will basically be contained. All we need is the extension cord to plug into the tools. But the reason for it is the big grinder. This thing is just jive damn enormous. That thing is jive damn enormous. You can't hardly get it done anywhere. And the damn guard really don't adjust. You have to unscrew it and stuff. On this, on this new Milwaukee grinder, which I'll show you right now, it's got, here, I'll shut, shut you down just a second here. It's got a damn adjusting guard, like it's just a pull your pin and slide it. And you, I mean, you slide it backward or, well, that won't work, but slide it at least sideways here so you can, you need to get in there real good at a nice angle you can. So, I like that feature. I can't wait to start using it on actual, doing a lot of welding and grinding and stuff, so. Guys, look for another another angle grinder. I'll make sure to kind of do a a, a u, using it and stuff, and uh, give you my thoughts. But right now, I'm just always a big fan of that that name right there. I'm always a big fan of Milwaukee. That's got to be the best power tool out there right now. So, guys, look for another grinder. Go check it out. It's probably like 50 bucks. Nothing too terrible. Uh, pretty affordable. But of course, it's Milwaukee, so it should last you a good while. Um, I'm just a pretty big Milwaukee fan. I've got several different tools. I got some 12 volt equipment, small drill driver, and my radio on the he's on the excavator. I got tape measures since they came up with their hand tools. That's nice. I tell you what, I got this set of uh, Milwaukee screwdrivers there. It's got this new. Let me show you. If you can see it or not in the camera, see that new style of. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a Phillips head, something similar to a Phillips head, but uh, I've used them and I like them. Well, not the not the specialty ones yet, but I will. Um, but you know, I'm kind of a pretty big Milwaukee fan. We got and we got an 18 volt uh, big drill that we use up in the barn to do all of putting our lag bolts or lag screws down for all the decking and the siding and stuff. So. Pretty big Milwaukee fan. Um, the wall, I, I like the wall. I really like them all. I just, I just prefer Milwaukee. I don't know why. We just, we've had good luck with them, and I'm just that way, you know. But I'll try to do a review and kind of show you guys how it works and everything on the grinder. It's basically a regular right angle grinder, but we'll do a review after I get to using it and see how I like that guard. I really hope that works out really nice because that'd be really sweet to do some nice grinding and clean it up on some stuff. So be looking forward to videos of that. Um, probably used to do some cleaning off some paint and that sort of thing. I like to get something else. Sandblaster. Because uh, a guy on YouTube, uh, he does models and stuff. You guys might know him. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's got a sandblaster and he does models and stuff. I'd like to have sandblaster just to do everything with and do models, some old uh, restorating models and stuff. So I might try to start looking into one, but right now I'm trying to get this new welder thing set up and get it, get me welding real good, start doing a bunch of welding. Uh, then next year, um, I'm going to be going to uh, a uh, welding vocational skills so i should be able to get learned up pretty good on how to weld probably running tig mig and um, stick which i've learned to what all those meant tig is basically brazing with electron elect electrical yeah because you know how you braze with torch you braze with basically elect, elect electricity 
Um, stick is basically just a, your rod and you arc it off. Wire welder or MIG is basically, you guys have seen my videos, you understand what that is. In case there's anybody out there that don't know the difference between TIG, MIG, and stick. Uh, brazing is basically like taking a piece of wire or something like that and taking a torch and heating it up. It's like soldering. If you guys know what soldering is, it's just like that except a hell of a lot harder and Normally, I do believe, don't quote me, but I do believe you use basically a welding rod with a torch to heat it up. But I, I'm not for sure. I don't know much about TIG. I just know the basics of it. I got learned up. Stick, I've, I've stick welded and I've MIG welded. That's two things I've done. I will, Actually, I like welding. It's, it's pretty fun. I mean, who wouldn't, especially with a bunch of sparks flying around that can burn everything down. <laughs> but, um. Uh, so anyhow, guys, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Be looking for some videos of the grinder and going through the rock pile tomorrow night, hopefully. And whatever else happens this weekend, I'll get her on video so you all can see it. So stay tuned. I'll try to keep up on the videos and everything. So stay tuned. Talk to you guys later.